Benjamin, uh, another day for uh, puzzles, puzzles Benjamin. Um, let me see here. I'm going to see if I can find a way to get this a little bit larger and nope, I, I really can't. Okay. Um, I was trying something out, um, but you can't really see what I was doing. That's okay. I'm going to puzzles now. Puzzle rush. <coughs> Today I'm going to be doing puzzles, and then after that, if I'm up to it, I really feel like trying to do um, uh, blindfold chess. I really feel like it. You know, something that I think would be really good for me to practice and it's, it might be embarrassing if I forget some stuff um, just because I'm going to be going on live and I don't really like to edit or change my videos. I want to be very um, realistic um, because I can easily just, it's not difficult to edit them. And when I'm doing puzzles, I can easily, if I get confused at all, I can like, or if I need to take time, I can easily just say like, squeeze it down to just show the answer and nothing else. And that's kind of um it makes it unrealistic like when you're playing chess that's not how chess goes and i realized that i um was very hard on myself when i first started studying because when i first started studying i thought that i was supposed to be able to see everything immediately and the reason why i thought that was simply because that's what i seen every single um video every single um like every single like master that explains stuff, I'm not a master, but every single one that explains stuff, I realize that they they don't really share stuff when they make my stuff and they don't really share stuff that is a little um, off or difficult. And I feel like that's not, it just doesn't give like an actual representation of like full thoughts. Like I know some of them, like certain people can do this stuff really well, but if you don't share anything that might make mistakes when everyone makes some mistakes, then, you know, for example, puzzle rush I'm doing right now, um, no one has ever had an infinite puzzle rush. Like you don't get infinite. And because of that, like I've noticed that a lot of times when there's thinking involved and stuff like that, I don't think they really show that. So, Unless they're doing it live and, and they're super fast, which some people can be, you know. I'm going to go ahead here and get started now. I think I've I jibber jabber enough. So. All right. So basically, <clears throat> the reason why I do it this way is because this is what you're supposed to do in your games for your calculations is look at every check, capture and threat. And then if you don't see anything, then you try to improve your position. So in puzzles, um, you just do checks, captures, and threats. And you don't improve your position because there's a tactic available. So that's basically, that's all you really have to do in chess, you know? So here, the king is blocked by his own pawns, and the knight has his square covered. So it's almost like the same thing as a back rank mate. So if I call it check, and he would move back, that would be checkmate. This is almost the same thing as a back rank, you know, three pawns because this is blocking it off. So for checks, captures, and threats, this is blocked off. Um, Bishop's not doing anything, but it's a nice diagonal, but it's not doing anything. So then the king can't move because his own piece is in the way. So pretty much the same thing. A little different setup. Way to move. Um, this king is blocked off. It cannot move because this king here is blocking it. So it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, back rank mates are like the reason why they show it as a low level is because this is one of the first things you have to learn. Like you have to learn this first. Um, if you're not learning how to do back rank mates, then yeah. you're, you're going to be missing lots of stuff. That's why they usually show these at the beginning, very early on. Uh, another one. This is a different pattern, but the same thing. Blocked off by the pawns. King can't go anywhere. Bishop has his cover. So this would be check. And also checkmate. 
<coughs> excuse me, uh, checks, captures, and threats. Here, um, the only check I notice right here is the knight move to D3. I'm trying to see if there's anything else available really quick, and I don't see anything. Okay, so let's see here. This will be check. This bishop has his whole diagonal blocked off. But when the knight comes in, these squares become available to the king. So I'll call it check. The king will go here or here. And I think the answer is to just simply call check with the bishop and take the queen. That's what it looks like to me. So it's a, it's a two move, um, well, three moves. A capture of the queen. Let me check. And then he, when he captures this, it becomes check again. And the queen will be under attack. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Um, there's these two checks. And at first, I thought that was the answer. Then I second-guessed it. But my rook is defending it. So it's perfectly fine. So if I capture, the king can't capture back. And he can't go anywhere because the queen has these squares covered. So that would be checkmate. Yeah, and he's blocked in by his own bishop as well. If he wasn't blocked in by his bishop, he'd be able to escape. Checks, captures, and threats. Uh, this is um, basically looks very, pretty much the same as fool's mate. Uh, fool's mate is when the queen goes all the way to h4. That's a check. And it's also checkmate. And fool's mate is a little bit of a different order than this, but it's pretty much very similar. Oh, hello. I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't realize someone was um, talking. How you doing? Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Uh, this right here is a check. It is defended by the knight. And it's covering all the squares, so the king can't move. And he's blocked in by his own rook, so he can't escape. So that's checkmate. That's a very common bishop and knight checkmate. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Uh, wait to move. Let's see here. Uh, this right here is a check. And you can block up the rook, you can take it, but then the king would have to move. And this pawn here is protecting the square, so that would be checkmate. The queen can go in that square, and that would be checkmate. Let's check, capture, and checkmate. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Um, first thing I notice is that this bishop has its diagonal, and this pawn is pinned by the queen. Um, so this knight move here would be check and it also be checkmate. I'll be threatening the queen, but it doesn't matter because the king will be checkmated. Because he can't move and he can't take. So uh checks, captures, and threats. Um, this check would be bad. He would just take off the rook. And take back and go back. So that'd be a bad check. That's the first check I noticed, but that's a bad one. Uh, the other check right here is this right here. It's check. And that also be checkmate. He's protected by the bishop and he cannot move over because of this rook. So that would also be checkmate. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. The first check I noticed is capturing the rook. But I'm in check right now. So it's a little not um, part of it. So I got, I got to do something here. I either move the king or take the bishop. Now, if I move the king, I lose my queen. And then if I take card check, he can just take the rook back. And it's not, not much of a follow. So I, I'm pretty sure I have to take the bishop. So if I take here, I'll be... I'm not entirely sure what I'll be threatening immediately. Um, it's like a, a weird puzzle. 
And those puzzles aren't very defensive, so they're, it looks extremely weird. So account material, he's up a whole minor piece. So if I just win a minor piece, um, if I just win a minor piece, and I have two bishops versus two knights, I mean, it might be something. I have a pawn here. I'm pretty sure it's winning. Um, but part of me feels like that's that shouldn't be the answer for some reason. But I don't see anything that I can do. If I move anywhere, he would just take the queen. And then he can just take my rook. And then, yeah, I, I have no pieces. So I have to, I think this is it. Okay, so it's the two bishops. Okay, so I guess, yeah, that's fine. I, it was, I know it was winning, but it was a little weird. I usually expect puzzles to have more of a, uh, more of a, like straightforward um, victory, not a positional thing. I mean, I had an extra pawn towards the end, which obviously I could be able to make a queen, but I'm used to a little bit more. All right, uh, checks, captures, and threats. One second here. Checks, captures, and threats. This is a bad check. You just take it. Uh, captures. I have this capture and this capture. So let's see here. If I were to take the knight, he wouldn't be able to take back because I can take the rook. So I do have a free piece here. Um, let's count our pieces. Two rooks, two rooks. Two minor pieces. Okay, so I, I win a piece if I do that. And if I take here, um, his knight might be able to escape. Can it escape? No, it can't. I still think this is the answer. But I'm not sure if this would even be better because he can't escape. So I'd be winning an extra pawn on top of that. But because of the rating level, I don't think it's that complicated. I'm going to go ahead and take the, the knight. Okay. I would calculate more if it was like an actual game and look at the pawn capture first because he looked like the knight couldn't escape. Now to see if there's a way I can um, do something about it. Um, actually, probably would have moved the rook now that I remember. Yeah, he would have moved the rook. If I took the pawn, he would have moved the rook. And then I wouldn't be able to get the knight for free. It'd be a trade. So, okay. All right. Um, this is a simple counting game. And I make a queen. It's basically that simple. I make a queen. He makes it down here. I can go all the way down here and block. So. <coughs> uh, checks, captures, and threats. Let's see here. There's two different checks. There's two different checks. Okay, the king can't escape this square. So if I call a check this way, he'll just leave. But if I call a check this way, he can still escape here. I thought I had something going. <laughs> um, maybe my knight didn't ask the word and call a check again. Um, the knight will cover both of these squares. The queen has these squares covered. Yeah, that looks like it's good. That looks good. All right. Oh, yeah. After my um my game, that's been my puzzles. I like to go over puzzles for everybody first. I will go ahead and um, do a blindfold game on chess.com. They actually have in the variants. You go play the variants. There actually had blindfold chess on here. Um, all the pieces are gone, and you have to make a move, and you have to remember where the pieces are. That's how it works for um, blindfold chess on, on chess.com. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So if I move, he'll just 
there. Okay, so I pretty much, um, yeah, I, I, I can't, oh, hello, heat proof. Um, yeah, I don't want to play someone blindfold chess on here because I'm going to be explaining stuff. And then basically, I don't get to see the board. I'm explaining everything, and you get to see all my explanations. And it's just, it's just a really big mess. It's not, you know. I'll, I'll play people a different day, but I, I can't do it for that. <clears throat> uh, checks. I, I can play people maybe a different day, and it won't be blindfold chess online. The only way I'll play blindfold chess online with anyone would be like if you if you know me on Facebook and send me a message and you wanted to play, I'll, I'll play that way. But I won't never live stream playing someone live chess while explaining because you get to see all my explanations. And that's just not fair to me. All right. Checks, captures, and threats. This is the check. Uh, the king can't move anywhere. And that will be checkmate. Yeah, whenever I see these pawn structures, it makes me think of fool's mate, where you just come in for checkmate. So that's always something to keep in mind. All right, checks, captures, and threats. Now, I don't want to call check and just go back and forth. It looks possible to go back and forth with that. Um, this check would force the king down. But I don't see... Actually, that is good. At first, I didn't see a fall because I was thinking with my pawns up. But if I go down here, that would be checkmate. So, check, checkmate. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Well, I know it's possible to mute, but I have no idea if someone if if you if you will or if you won't, you know, and. So that's just, you know, I, I just don't feel comfortable because I've done streams before and I explained all my moves with people. So I don't like to, I don't like to do that very much because I, I've, I've never, um, before I've never lost to someone that was like 400 points rated lower than me. But when I started streaming and explaining stuff, I, I've lost two games and I lost over 30 rating points and I just, it kind of took out my my joy of playing people and explaining stuff online live. So I, I really can't do that. <clears throat> yeah, rook takes d5. It looks like it might be it. If he takes back. <clears throat> oh, yeah, queen takes. And that will be a fork. So, yeah, this, this is actually a free bishop. If he takes back, then that'll be a, a fork, and you'll win the rook as well. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Um, this is a very simple one. It's a queen bishop battery, and this is all open. Um, this is considered light square weaknesses because when you move the pawn, all these squares are not no longer defended by a pawn. And that's called that's called creating like square weaknesses. And usually when you have this, you think cuddle your bishop, which is now which is not here anymore. And it's usually a good defender, but that's completely gone. And that makes it easy to just come right in there. So if you have that structure, you have to try to keep your bishop um and to defend. So checks, captures, and threats. Um I don't notice a, a check right away. Uh, captures. Man, this one doesn't have the main two things. It's checks, checks, captures. So I look for threats. Oh, this is a check right here, actually. I missed this check, which would take the rook. All right. And that's why it's important, like, how I'm taking my time right here. That's pretty much what you got to do in games. I didn't notice it right away, but I noticed it eventually. And if you, like, think something's there or not there in the game and you just make a move, that's that's 
pretty much how how blunders sometimes happen. Yeah, queen of c6. Yeah. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Um, this king can't move back because of rook. So a simple check will also be checkmate. Um, I can't go here because the bit, the queen would take it. But e, queen e6 will be checkmate. It's check and everything's covered. So uh, checks, captures, and threats. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Well, this is not going to work because a knight will take it. That's a common checkmate pattern, but the knight has it covered. This right here is not as an uncommon checkmate pattern. I never really see this, but all this is covered. The pawn's covered, and the knight will call and take a checkmate. Knight to uh, a7. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. Um, there's a bishop capture. He were to take. I'm not entirely sure. I win a piece, but two minor pieces versus a rook. If I take. That would be trading, but he can't move out the way. So I don't see um he can move out the way. And if I take with a rook, it forces the issue because he can't move away because I can just take him. So I think this is it, but it's not as forceful. Yeah, I think it's the rook take. I don't think it's the bishop. Um, like I said, when if the bishop takes, he can just move out the way, and then there's no winning of pieces. And if I move out the way, then what? He can take. And if I take back, yeah, I think it's the rook. I think it's the queen. But I don't really see a. If I go queen, you can go to h7, check, move out. If I do the bishop, I think it's the queen. But I got to move the knight out after, so. Okay. I was 100% sure if it was a queen or bishop, but the queen's usually more aggressive, so I, I just took my chances. Um, here, it looks like you just make a queen. My best survival wash is 37, I believe. <coughs> um, all right. So here, you just make a queen. Now, there's a difference between capturing and moving forward. If I were to capture, I think he can make it. I think he can make it. Yeah, if I capture, he'll be able to block the queen. So you just move up and you make it. So... I know there's some type of weird square rule thing, but I don't really, I can't visualize like that. I've learned about it and I tried it over and over again, but it's really hard for me for some reason. I just feel it out and usually I, I know I'm right, usually. Um, checks, captures, and threats. There's no checks that lead to checkmate, but there's a threat. Um, Bishop h3 is threatening checkmate. Um, but he can move the pawn up. So let's say he moves a pawn, uh, and I try to continue. Yeah, he can defend. So I'm not entirely sure if that's the answer. Only because he can defend it. I mean, it might be the answer. I take... Not sure what else you can do, but I can also move my knight in here as well. So in a game, I probably would just go like this. And then if he moves up, take the pawn. If he moves up a little extra, I can just move the knight in. It's probably what I end up doing, but I don't see a, a very forced clear line. 
oh, if I'm my queen here first, then move my bishop. The pawns are locked in. I can just do checkmate. He can't move this pawn forward. This will block the pawn from going forward. And he can't move here to stop it because the pawn will take it. So it looks like this is the answer. Oops. I guess not. It looked like it to me. <coughs> it solved the one problem, but apparently there was another one. And I didn't, I kind of moved without looking into it because I got pretty happy. All right. Checks, captures, and threats. <clears throat> Check. He can just take it. Queen to f4. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, queen f4 would have definitely... Um, I've done that. All right. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. I don't. I don't. I don't really. Honestly, I don't see anything. This one. So checks will be bad, he'll just take it. This will be bad, he'll just take it. This will be bad, he'll just take it with a pawn. I mean, if I take back with a pawn, yeah, it just it doesn't make any sense. The bishop can't have this diagonal because of the rook. The bishop can't have it. Um, if I move the knight up and he takes this pawn, I have this fork. Right here, I do have a fork, but I don't know if the fork would be any good. Because if, yeah, I think actually that looks like it might be it. I'm going to go for it. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, it wasn't it. Checks, captures, and threats. I'm not doing too good anymore for some reason. I'm usually very happy to get to 30. 30 is my usual, um, my normal goal. Um, this is the normal sacrifice. This is a check. King captures. Queen goes over, check. King goes back, and then that'd be checkmate. He can't move back because of this move and because of his own piece blocking him. This is actually a common checkmate pattern to remember. Chucks, captures, and threats. Black to move. Yeah, if I just take it and he takes back, I'm I'm not going to be able to make a queen. So that's probably not it. I take, he takes. Even if I try to move anywhere, he just blocked the pawn. Um, take, take. I can actually go this way. And yeah, I actually can go this way and clean up the pawn. So I think that's it. I noticed I couldn't move this pawn forward, but I do have these pawns over here. Oh, they should have had me finish that because there's a way to draw and they should allow me to, to continue so I can show that I know how to not draw in that position because that, that can be drawish if you make a bad move. All right, checks, captures, and threats. The knight is pretty much trapped in here. He can't. He can't go here because the pawn. He can't go here because the pawn. He can't go here because the king or the rook. He can't go here because the pawn. He can't go here because the pawn. And so, therefore, this is the only place he can go right now. Take the rook, but if I move it the rock of the way, then that 
knight is pretty much trapped. Not to save my knight. Um, now, if I go here, he'll be attacking the knight as well. So it's not a free piece in that case. If I move my knight back, his knight can just capture it. So that's not good. Um, I'm wondering if this is the, the move. But he can also block it off. So I got to figure out where am I going to move my knight to where this knight is still free. Like if I go here, he moves over. I actually can move my knight to f4. And if he tries to keep pushing, and then this knight will still be free. So I guess that's it. All right. Free knight. That was a nice. I never really see knight puzzles, and I loved it. I, I like you. I like playing with knights a lot. So that's it's pretty good. I forget what type of checkmate this is. Um, I think it was anesthesia or something. I forget the name. But if I call a check and the king moves over, um, and I call a check on the pawn, he takes it. This knight has these two squares covered, and this rook could come right over and call a checkmate. I forget the name of the, the checkmate. And this is why, like, knowing, like, your endgame stuff and your checkmates and the names of it and the patterns is super important. You see, like, over here I made a few mistakes and stuff. I'm pretty – it might even be a simple solution to them, and I just didn't know what it was because I don't know all the checkmate patterns. Like, I, I just don't. Not, not yet. So I probably should go back and try to learn more after that so, therefore, I can do more. Oh, I've I've done it a couple of times, but not very often. It, it does. It, you are right, though. It's not like super common in the actual games, but I've I forget how many how many games I've done them in. But it's it's probably one of the lower ends ones. So I think I'm supposed to just make a queen. Um. So the best way to make a queen. Let's say if I move up, if he takes. I'm going to have to count these. Yeah, we both make a queen. And I don't know. I mean, I made it first, but... Oh, yeah. Now we check me. And if he doesn't make a queen and he moves down one, I can make a queen here. So I think that might be it. You go, I mean, if he moves down, I can still go four. So I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, checks, captures, and threats. I I don't know. I don't like that at all. Um, this check is discovers, but he can just take the bishop, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see here. I got the queen here. It's probably, if I call it check, he can move up. Well, these moves all look really bad, offending these. Assuming this is the first move. I'm just going to go ahead and play it. And let's see here. And I figure out a way to get this king. And nothing really stands out to me, to be honest. I mean, I can... Yeah, that's not standing out to me. Because even if I do capture and try to take this, there's checkmate on me. If I call a check with the bishop this way, the king can't escape. These squares are covered. This is all covered. He'll be forced to take up the rook, and then the queen can come over and call a checkmate. So that's checkmate. All right. 
Um, checks, captures, and threats for black to move. Um, the first thing I noticed is that this is a one check, and this is another check. My queen's un in danger as well, so I gotta be mindful. I mean, if I call this check, he'll just take up the queen. He can come up. Um, if I take this pawn, I can't call it check because you'll take it. If I call it check first. Yeah, 37 is my max. I usually try to get at least 30 and higher. I'm happy with that. Most of the basic stuff are like between 1 and 20. At least basic for me. Um, someone else might think stuff like this is basic. Um, oh, if I take the pawn, he takes it back. If I take it with the queen, then I can fork it and win the pawn back, which is a really weird thing, but nope. Okay. I'm going to go ahead with the blindfold chest now for play. Four player invariance. <coughs> I think I have to, um, more search. I think I had a search. I believe it's not very popular. Yeah, right here. <coughs> I like putting it for 10 minutes so I could think a little bit. So. <clears throat> All right, the e4. I usually play the um, perk defense. I'm gonna go ahead with that. So he has e4 and knight f3 so far. Okay, so he's throwing his pawns at me. Um, he did e4. G4 and knight f3. I ring my pawn at d6, so this bishop is available to me, so I can just take it. I thought he moved his knight to f3. Did he move his queen? I just assumed it was knight. I think I assumed it, it was a knight. Okay, well, that's my mistake. I guess he moved queen to f3, and I thought he moved knight to f3. I just, that's super weird. So now I don't know what, pawn, what piece is on here. Or what if it was his pawn? Oh, it was his pawn? Okay. Well, that really um is not that good for me. And if I take it here, then he'll take it with the queen. So. Um, I don't want to pawn up. Yeah, this has me really confused now. <laughs> so. Yeah, I still can't believe that I um that I missed that. I thought I really thought it was knight to f3. 
So he has two pawns here, pawn here, pawn here. Is what he has so far. He did a check to queen. Pawns on d6. So let's go ahead. D5. So e5, d5, f3, took. Uh. Okay. I have a pawn here. I can take it. His queen will be kind of available after that. But. I don't have my bishop no more. Move my queen right here. It takes. I take. And queen takes. He moves bishop over. Um, I can just move out of danger. Yeah, I, I really don't like that. When I see stuff like this, it really confuses me. And I start I started thinking about other stuff other than chess. And it really sucks. I'm, I'm actually a really kind person. And it kind of really does affect me a lot. And it does make it difficult for me to think. Because I think about this more than the actual game itself. Then I forget stuff. This pawn, smooth up here. Pawn, bam, bam. Oh, okay. I know I had this diagonal here, but I didn't know what to do with it. I wanted to help bring a bishop in, but I knew it was too far away. Um, but All right, well, I guess I can go ahead and try another game, I guess. That's a little difficult. Next time I'm going to try to really remember... Um, like, I'm not going to guess it's a knight next time. I always, 99% of the time, it's a knight. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah, this is a free pawn. I didn't realize it. I know he moved a lot of pawns up and something was defended. I remember this being here. I just didn't know it was undefended because I would have went, I would have just taken it and threatened checkmate if I knew that. It is a little difficult for this kind of stuff. Yeah, there's not that many people who play blindfold chess, so sometimes this does happen. Let me see something here. I think it is possible to, um, where is it at? Play versus random, customize. Oh, they don't have an option for bots. That'd be pretty nice if I can play against a bot. <clears throat> Yeah, but it's, it's actually pretty good. I wouldn't suggest playing these until you know certain openings, like, enough. Like, if you can visualize, like, four, five, six moves in an opening and actually remember the position pretty well. 
Um, and then after that, if you do puzzles and able to do three, four, or five moves in your head, you're not going to be able to get the full game of chess. But you're going. I think at that point you can start practicing it, and that's what I'm doing. I, I really can't get the full game in my head, but I, I do pretty well, and I, I've actually finished a few, a lot of games. I, I've won most of my games um, that were blindfolds, so I'm pretty happy about that. It's just. It's just a lot harder. I think I think you first need to, like I said, I first try to remember his openings in my head without looking at the board, you know, a couple of moves in, and then the puzzles, and then try to visualize the puzzles. And it took a long time before I got to it. Okay. I'm black again. Let's do the perk. <coughs> you put E4. See, knight to F3. <laughs> That's what I thought happened last time. All right. This time it actually is knight to f3. So he has two knights up and his pawn at e4. Uh, bishop c4. So he's developing pretty normally. Um, he has his two knights out, his bishop out, his pawn e4. Um, he castled. Um, this is all very, very normal and standard. Um, H3 to prevent. Okay. Um, here I like to, he has his bishop on C4. Yeah. And his knight on C6. So here I like to capture the pawn. And he captures back. And then I fork his knight and his bishop. Knight moves back. I take the bishop. His knight's right here. Um, <clears throat> move the pawn up. I'll take that pawn too. His queen moves up. Um, we can trade queens. Okay. So there's a knight here, a pawn here. We trade lots of pieces. Um, okay. He probably forgot the position. Um, people do that a lot. Um, that's why it's not a good idea to move very quickly. Um, it he wasn't doing bad. Um, I think it was actually pretty even. He probably just forgot the position. A lot of people do that when he resigns because they forgot the position. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You you would get a lot higher rating in this, like I have, than a normal game because people resign a lot more. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get off right now. I just want to show a little bit. This is how blindfold chess and um, chess.com. I would suggest a lot more people start playing it because I need more people to play against. <laughs> and if someone wants to play against me and they're, let's say, rated a thousand and under, um, I would suggest get your board out and play against me. And I can play blindfolds and you can move, make the moves on the board. And that way I can get some practice in. Because I, I really want, I really need to get some practice in. And I think. Someone may be rated four or five hundred points lower than me if they have a board out and I'm trying to memorize everything. I think um, that would be good for the both of us. So, um, let's have a blindfold mode. I can check that out. I don't know. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna, uh, where is this at? I gotta change my screen if I wanna, um, if I want to go to, yeah, I got to change my screen if I want to do the chess. So hold on a second. Um, blindfold mode in the chess. I don't see where that sat.
I'll sign in. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh, okay. It's not showing my password. Awesome. That one not very good. How do I go to um? How do I do blindfold mode in the chest? Preferences. Um. I don't see where that's at. Preferences. Uh, uh, my name is right here. Preferences. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really normally use um, the chest very often, but if there's a way to do blindfold, then blindfold, yes. Okay. And after that, I can just play and it'll be blindfold. <clears throat> okay. Um So now I'll be in blindfold mode now. Oh wow, that's actually really nice. Um I didn't know they had that. I've been wanting to do that forever. I've been like, honestly, I've been kind of upset with my group. Um, I only asked them once a few months ago, but I asked them a couple of times before that and no one wanted to do it with me. And I'm like, I really need to practice. <laughs> so I was pretty upset with them. I'm like, oh, I really want to practice. So, okay, E4. <coughs> Yeah, and if they can see the board, then I'm gonna lose a lot of my ratings. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, but at least I'll get my rating, my blindfold rating in, you know? That's for sure. My bishop here, knight here. Ooh, did I miss that? Yeah, I did. All right. I'm going to resign. That's awesome. I'm super happy about this. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to make a separate account. I'm going to um I'm going to keep it like this and just I'm gonna, I don't I don't really care if I lose my rating. Um This is perfectly fine. I mean, actually, I don't know. Should I make a separate account? I mean, I, I don't really mind too much, but I get your point because I get to start off at a lower level, and then I can figure out where I'm at instead of trashing this one. So, yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I greatly appreciate it. I really do. I um, I didn't know this existed. And... I think the main reason why a lot of people didn't want to do that with me is because they maybe I might only guess is they maybe they found it embarrassing that I would want to play blindfold against them when really it's to help me get better. You know, um, now I don't need anybody. <laughs> so I really appreciate that a lot. Um, so I did not know they did that here. So that's sweet. All right. Well, thank you.
Um, I guess I can um, go back and share my other screen. Hold on a second. My chess.com screen. All right. There we go. Yeah. I mean, if someone wants to challenge me to game, that's fine. I haven't done a full hour yet. Usually I do a full hour. So it's kind of close to an hour. But if someone wants to send me a challenge, like a three minute game or something, I, I can play two, three games real quick before getting off. Oh, man. I, I wish I had someone like that in my life. <laughs> That would have helped me out a lot. Yeah, I haven't had much practice with blindfold. Um, one is because people resign in the early game like this one. And two, because I, I don't have anyone around me who actually plays chess. So I like I had to really teach myself a lot. And I don't really get to talk to anyone in person about anything that I'm learning. And after a while, that's why I started doing online stuff is because I'm like, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people out there who don't have much, any, much of anyone to help them learn. So that's when I started doing stuff online on Facebook, Messenger, and try to gather everyone that's under a thousand who might not have family or friends who play, who want to play. And that's why I started teaching people. All right. All right. Well, my username is Benjamin145. Um, you can add me and you can definitely play again. You can definitely play in the future. Just Benjamin one, four, five. And yeah, you can channel me, Pete. Uh, just, uh, three, you can do three minute games. Uh, I'll, I'll accept a few games before I log off. Yeah. Three minutes are perfect. They're pretty fast and I can explain a little bit. There's a small time lag. So like it's two seconds slower, um, before it shows up. So three minutes are perfectly fine, and I can explain everything and I not worry about um, a lot of stuff. So, but yeah, ten minutes is where I where I can explain everything and people can use what I'm saying um, against me. But three minutes, people really can't. So I, I prefer three minutes, uh, just because there's a small time lag for two seconds. Yeah, do um do you have a chess.com account um chess player? What do you mean by match settings? I don't understand. Uh, match settings. Um settings. <clears throat> I don't see it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't see match settings. I see profile, board and pieces, theme, live chess, daily, home settings, puzzles. Um, yeah, I don't see it right now. Um, it's not showing up at all that you sent me a challenge. I don't see a challenge at all. Live chess. <sighs> allow official challenges, yes. Allow challenges from everyone. It says it allows challenges from everyone. Incoming. Oh. Maybe that's why. Maybe I had it um, set so people who are a lot higher than me couldn't send me a challenge. Oh, I'm not on, on um, 
I'm actually not on Twitch right now. I'm the way that I'm streaming is through uh um what's that called again? IO streaming. So I'm not actually on Twitch. I'm I'm streaming through Twitch and YouTube without actually being on Twitch or YouTube. This it allows me to stream in two different places. But I was able to just settings, so you can definitely see the challenge if you wanted to. Um <coughs> I don't know what focus mode is, but yeah, I switched the settings. I found out what it was. Yeah, I yeah, I switched it. I put it on. Um, I put it for any. So. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, oh, I have to save it. I thought I saved it. Um, let's go back to settings. All settings, uh, live chess, uh, everyone, any, uh, save. All right, I need to refresh my browser. <coughs> All right. All right, it worked. Oh, uh, that's okay. We can um always play next time. Do you do you have Facebook at all? My username my on Facebook is I'm just Benjamin Ramirez. I have a chess club page called Worldwide Chess Club. If you can find the Worldwide Chess Club, you can find me on Facebook. And my name is just Benjamin Ramirez. Oh, okay. Yeah, the reason why I mentioned Facebook is because you can send me messages and challenge me. I can get log in, you know. Um, chess player. Oh, oh that's understandable. I don't like very much um, different types of social media. So I kind of stuck with the first thing I used. Um, which was Facebook, so I just kind of didn't do anything else. <clears throat> um, Let's do a three minute game if it lets me. What happened? Yeah, it just kicked me out. That was really weird. One second.
Yeah, it's kicking me out. Whenever I try to send you a challenge, it kicks me out. Um, all right. All right, Pete. Let's play the game. All right. Uh, towards the center. Uh, that's a free pawn. Most people usually play c4 here or even knight to uh, Mm. Yes, I just um for the most part, um my improvement so far has just been me studying by myself. Um but more importantly I, I want to get better blindfolds because I feel like if I can visualize the board better, then I'll just I'll just be better overall with what I already know. So I kind of want to focus on blindfold because I got kind of stuck. Um, I'm at 1500 right now. I was stuck at 1400 for maybe a year. And I think that I, I just need to do something to really expand my brain. So I, I feel that blindfold is, is what will get me better. Um, <coughs> and that's if I'm teaching myself. That's why I'm interested in blindfold. Is because I want to um, continue doing that. So I can't really afford lessons. I'm even trying to do um, donations for chess, so that way, if people pay me, then I can start taking lessons. That's basically it hasn't worked out very much very well. Um, and the first time I got a donation is when I was going through a bad time, so I kind of, you know how to use it for something else but yeah I, I really can't afford lessons or, or pay for stuff that's why i want to focus on blindfold chess but once i get my channel going if i do get donations and i do get more money i definitely would um definitely would would end up starting a pay for lessons for sure Oh, I should have went here. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. Now we could play one more. All right. uh, yeah, if, if if you that would be great, that'd be very helpful. I I really would appreciate it. Yeah, and I understand that you wouldn't do it for free, 
Um, that's why I explain like as when when I start getting my stream better off and I actually am able to get money from donations, then I then after that I would end up um being able to do that. Because I do want to get lessons at some point. Um I just can't it's not that I don't want to have them. I, I just really can't afford them right now. Um, and that's kind of why I started streaming is because I wanted to be able to afford them. I've only been doing this for like maybe a month now. And it's kind of, it's just, I, it's, I think I've did pretty well when it came to the viewing and so forth in a small period of time. It's just, I got to wait a while before I can start getting donations and stuff. And then after that, I'll start taking lessons and then after I take lessons, I can teach people more. And that's pretty much what I'm, what I'm trying to do. But, but yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, and you're on Twitch and you don't do Facebook. Um, I don't know exactly how you was giving the information for the lessons unless you just send me a private message on Twitch. I know someone's already done that already sent me a message so I know it's possible. I just don't know um, what kind of plan you can give me through a message. Okay, yeah, that works too. All right, I appreciate it. Um, all right, I gotta get going now. It's almost ten o'clock. I usually stream for like an hour. It's been a little over an hour. Um, no, I'm okay. I I gotta get going, but I do appreciate the games and um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Um, if you can't donate, I really really appreciate um sharing to people who you think might be able to or to different pages and groups and just try to get it to where I can do more stuff. All right. Take care. All right. Bye.